Hi guys, in this episode I will be building, or I will be putting together this. I'm going to show you how I prepare a Vero board layout to build an effect. So let's get started. Okay, so you want to get some strip board, find your tag board diagram, and basically recreate that on this. So this one has 17 by 12. So it's 12 high, 17 across. So we'll just mark that out on this. So this is where I want to cut it. It's handy cutting this way because you're going along the holes there. And then try to do the same thing on the other side. I usually have one of these paint markers around just to mark things on these. It's handy for this sort of thing. Apologies if things are dark. My light isn't working today. So I'm relying on the house lights. Actually the computer screen kind of brightens it up a bit. So when you've scored it enough, it should be pretty easy to snap. And just double check I didn't count that wrong or screw it up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. And then you need 17 the other way. This actually has markings on it to make this side a lot easier. If that'll focus. Along the top there. Put it at the 18th and hope for the best. So there you have it, it's a blank Vero board ready to be populated. But there's one more, two more steps really. You need the links and cuts on the strips. So everywhere there's a red dot, you need to, you need to unlink that. So break there, break there, 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 you know. Then the black lines are links, so this rail strip needs to be linked to here and to here. This strip needs to be linked to here. So we'll get cracking on that. This is again a job for the marker. Just remember to mark it on the face without the conductive lines because that's the actual orientation you want. So you just copy the image so you know where you're going. Then we need to copy that pattern on the opposite side where the conductive strips are and drill them out. So the easiest way to do this is to get any component. Poke one leg through and then you know that's where it needs to be cut. Easiest way to drill it out is just hand drill. So just make sure you drill out enough to break break the line there, but try not to dig each way too much of the surrounding lines. 
then just do that for everyone. Now for the links, as you can see there are five links, so what I try to do is keep a bunch of these component legs, it's good to keep tidy but these can be handy, and you can use these to make the links rather than cutting really small wires that are hard to keep track of, so you just follow the the map on the Vero, Vero board layout and get them as flush to the circuit board as possible. Okay, let's get soldering. And then we just snip off the excess. If there are any links you're afraid might be bridged, like here is a little bit messy, you can just go in, go in with an X-Acto knife and just cut between the lines. And there you have a board ready to be populated with components to build a pedal. So please like and subscribe if you're into this kind of thing and check back next week for more. I'll hopefully build this actual pedal. <coughs>